House Walford, eager to report House N's illicit dealings to Hyzant, rebuffs an attack from Booker, Sorcelay's loyal assistant, and gains entry to the city. Alas, Camsel, one of the Saintly Seven, informs them that charges cannot be brought without hard evidence of Sorcelay's misdeeds. I see the salt matter is being addressed. Exactly as you predicted, no less. I never expected House Wolfort to so much as entertain the idea. The Wolforts are formidable, always striving to do the right thing. Which is also what makes them so easy to manage. What are you scheming now? Scheming? You make it sound so scandalous. All I do, I do for our beloved Hyzant. Do not play the fool. I know Minister Edor has taken notice of you. You would do well not to let it go to your head. I certainly cannot bring myself to admire the man. Oh, why ever not? Tis not worth going into detail. Suffice to say, I would not mourn him should some grave impropriety come to light. Then, for now, let us gleefully await the Wolfort's next move. It's an emergency. We have two patients. Both with extraordinary fevers. The Rosellen is unresponsive. Well, I can't tend to both unless you can give me two more pairs of arms. Let me help. I've just completed my training and I'll do whatever it takes to save them. Are there no real doctors left? Uh, fine, come. We're losing precious time. Leave the Rosellen. We must prioritize the Believer. As you wish. But the Rosellen will die unless we do something. Do they not teach the order of things in school these days? So what if they do? What does the order of things have to do with saving lives? Not all lives are weighted the same. You would do well to remember that. Quickly, Medina, these people are dying as we bicker. Oh. I couldn't save him. Orders or not, I was the one following them. It's all my fault. Where are you going? Medina! I beg your pardon, Lord Saranoa, but a doctor from the Ministry requests an audience with- My name is Medina. I've heard much about your house and simply had to see it for myself. What insolence is this? Stand down. Pray tell, what brings you before me? It is said House Wolfert possesses a relic known as the Scales of Conviction. Is this true? It is. We turn to the scales for guidance in times of trouble. Then, I wonder if they might guide me forward as well. I... I had a crisis of confidence. A man was counting on me to save his life, and I let him die. I cannot let this happen again. I wish to save all the lives I can, regardless of country or creed. Pray grant me the chance to consult the scales that I might walk the righteous path. The scales are merely a tool to an end. 
They are not a magical window into the future. When decisions must be made, all in this house have a say. We choose as best we're able and strive to ensure we chose wisely. You mean you strive not to regret your decision? That is all one can do. Forgive me if this is not the answer you sought. Then would House Wolford accept my aid if I offered it, my lord? If you would serve as a physician, that would be a boon. For we fear the war is far from over. I would be honored, my lord. I would see what I could do to rewrite the order of things. And let us walk the path together. I am at your service, my lord. Please, good sir, toss us a spare coin. A beggar. Cast off from the as frosty mine, no doubt. Focus, Rudolph. There is work to be done. Many thanks, sir. May your good deed be returned tenfold. Apologies for that, ma'am. On we go. This war has forced so many into poverty. Everyone looks a bit more downtrodden these days. Hmm. Is everything all right? You seem miles away. Just thinking of the past is all. Made your last run, smuggler scum. Damn it all. Looks like I'm done for. You're under arrest for the illegal transportation and distribution of salt. Please. You've got to let me go. I beg you. My little brother needs me. He'll die if you don't. He's sick and... <laughs> A likely story. What a pity, then, that you chose to betray your country rather than support him through honest means. Throw him in a cell so he can contemplate the consequences of his crimes. No, get your hands off me. You gotta let me go. I got to smuggle in salt so I could afford medicine for my brother. We could barely put food on the table, let alone find money for medicine. I know it ain't right, but what choice did I have? He died while I was locked up. I broke my promise to him. I had no idea. It's not anything to do with ye, anyhow. Let's get back to work. Please, you can't take our wheat. We just sent food the other day. Silence. Lord Walford has ordered the requisition of all provisions. You wouldn't dare disobey your lord, would you? Of course not. I... I just can't believe Lord Walford would command such a thing. Are you accusing me, a noble woman of Glenbrook, of lying? <laughs> How dare you, peasant. Mayhap we should see what the commotion is about. Mind telling us what's going on? 
Well, if it isn't Captain Eridor, thank you for all that you do to keep these lands safe. You're one of the lot what recently fled from the Crown City, ain't you? Just so, yes. I came to humbly lend what aid I could to Lord Wolfford and deliver on the provisions I promised. What is your quarrel with these people? If you could explain the situation, we'd be more than happy to lend what aid we can. Please, I beg of you, don't take our food. It's all we have. I've always known Lord Wolfort to care for his people above all. Why would he do this to us? What madness is this? Lord Saranoa has strictly forbidden commandeering food from the common folk. Surely you aren't asking these good people to relinquish their stores to you in his name. I am simply gathering provisions on Lord Wolfort's behalf, as I promised. Honestly, he should be grateful. Grateful? <laughs> He'd be red in the face if he saw what you were doing. Ain't no way he ordered it. On the contrary, you are acting in violation of your Lord's decree. We cannot overlook your actions. You will come with us and be jailed. There, you will await judgment for your crimes. What nonsense is this? I am a noblewoman of Glenbrook. How dare you try to order me about, you self-important little man? You've no authority over me! Look, I ain't disagreeing, but are you sure we should accost her without seeking Lord Serenoa's counsel first? We haven't that luxury. The longer she is allowed to roam free, the more the people will suffer and our Lord's good name be sullied. We must show the people that unethical acts will not go unpunished. Take her away. You will pay for your impudence! Can't believe there are scoundrels out here using House Wolfort's name for real gain. You've done us all proud today, Yulio. Thank you ever so much, my lord. We'd be facing starvation if you hadn't stepped in. She really had us fooled. We should have known Lord Walford is too kind a man to order anything like that. If you are ever troubled again, please seek me out. I shall ensure that any wrongs committed against you are set right. Well, if it isn't tenebrous, gloomy as ever, I see. Minister Sorsley, I see you are in high spirits. And why shouldn't I be? House Wolfort is ferrying my salt as we speak. An illustrious house from the Salt Iron War trying to win my favor. It's laughable. But can they succeed, being as ignorant to the circumstances as they are? If they fail, I simply lay the blame upon them and see their house duly punished. I shall gain merit in place of money. <laughs> I did not take you for an optimist. Or have you forgotten of Exham and Camsell's suspicions? You speak as if it were my problem alone, my dear Tenebris. Do not misunderstand. It is because we are tarred with the same brush that I have come to warn you. Your dealings of late have grown, perhaps overly so. You would make an enemy of the other saints, should they notice. And would you too turn against me, Tenebris? Um, most certainly not. Our fates are tied. Good. Now leave me. Pray, be careful, Minister. What need have I for caution? I have never failed, nor will I ever.
Sorsley may well come to end us once he hears of our allegations. There is no turning back now. We must move swiftly. So how shall we proceed? We must provide hard evidence, as Minister Kamsel requested. And I wish to be named Archduke of Esfrost. Does he understand what he asks of us? We have no leads. Salt is a well-regulated commodity, and numbers do not lie. If this illicit trade exists, someone will have altered the ledgers. Of course. We'll gather what information we can on Sorcelay until the evidence we seek reveals itself. Let us canvas the town and see what we find. Agreed. We should split up and search for clues.
What news? Have you learned anything? Sourcelight is shrewd. He'll not reveal his true color so easily. Nothing can remain hidden indefinitely. A thorough review of the testimony shall show us the truth. Benedict is right. Let us review what we know to be true. Lord Serenoa, what does the evidence at hand suggest? Let us begin with Sorcelay himself. What is his crime? He bribed nobles right under our noses in Glenbrook. How could I have been so blind to his dealings in the upper echelons of my own kingdom? Though we know this to be true, I doubt we'll build a worthy case now that Esfrost rules the Crown City. If we cannot secure the help of the remaining saints, we've no choice but to present our case directly to the Hierophant. Doing so will require incontrovertible proof of Sorcelay's improprieties. Laris said Sorsley kept a secret ledger. Of course. Sales had to be carefully managed so as not to arouse suspicion. Making detailed records a necessity. I've no doubt this ledger exists. Now then, let us focus on where we might find the evidence we need. So, we'll find the vanished cargo ship. How do you propose we find something that vanished without a trace? Suspicious as it is, we'd best search elsewhere. Might the bribe Sorcelay ply Glenbrook's nobles with be connected to his illicit dealings? We know the ledger tracking the tainted salt exists. The vanished cargo ship is suspicious, yes, but we'll not find an unmoored vessel. Despite our best efforts, I'm afraid we haven't evidence enough to confront him over his crimes. And Sorcely will find us out soon enough, if he hasn't already. Time is of the essence, then. What is our next move? Though we lack proof, we'd best raise the issue with Camsel once more. Serenoa and his retinue know House End is involved in the illicit salt trade, yet fail to secure any solid evidence to back up their claims. Their position growing tenuous, House Wolfort makes a reckless bid to persuade Kamsal, Minister of Domestic Affairs, to levy charges. Minister Camsell will join our cause, won't he? It's hard to be sure, but we must press our case and have faith. That is all that is in our power to do. You! Are you House End's dogs? A messenger, my lord, from the palace. I seek Lord Sarah Noah Wolfort. You have found him. Lord Wolfort, you have been accused of coercing Minister Sorcelay End unto unlawful acts. Your presence is required at the palace so the Holy One may question you. House End is the guilty party, not Saranoa. If you've testimony to give, you are welcome to stand witness at the trial. My lord, this may be a good opportunity to bring our case directly to the Hierophant and the other powerful entities of Hyzant. I expect the Saintly Seven are not of one mind on this matter. If you can persuade some of the ministers to side with us, Sorcelay will have nowhere to run. Perhaps. Or you could end up the one with his head on the chopping block, Saranoa. Noah. 
Even so, we cannot make an enemy of Hyzant, else we truly will be alone. I must stand trial, plead my case to the Holy One and the Saintly Seven, and hope that they believe me. There are too many of them, Minister Archibald. And flee we must. I'll hold them here, but you lock. Retreat. Minister Archibald! No. This cannot be how it ends. My lungs yet draw breath. My heart yet beats! This place shall not be my grave! So the cycle of war and chaos begins anew. And once again I must take up my bow. Watching you fight from afar, and I like what I see. Almost reminds me of myself in my younger days. You flatter me. Still, I doubt you'll emerge victorious. Without me on your side, that is. The name's Archibald. Allow me into your ranks, and you'll see. I can match men half my age, shot for shot. I couldn't ask one so elderly to risk his life in battle. This Greybeard survived the Salt Iron War with naught but the bow in his back, I'll have you know. And my aim is just as sharp now as it was then. I haven't many years left, lad, and I'd like to spend them fighting for a just cause. If that is what you wish, then I shall not refuse. We welcome your bow. You've been summoned to the palace, Minister Kamsel. The Holy One is to hear the accusations against Minister End, and question House Wolfort. Very well. So, Sorsley has made the first move. Serenora must not have been able to secure evidence against him after all. But order cannot truly be restored simply by sentencing House Wolfort. I must make of this opportunity what I can. So there is to be a trial, I see. The Holy One requires the presence of the Saintly Seven immediately.
And here I thought you nearly had him, Wolford. Did I overestimate you? No matter. There is more than one way to trap a greedy boar. Now then, who will be best put to the task? The inquiry of House Wolfert, stood accused by Minister Sorsley End, will hereby commence. We of the Saintly Seven will preside over this trial. Serenor Wolfert, you stand before the Holy One. Do you swear by the Goddess to speak the truth? I swear. Minister Exham Marshall, you may begin the proceedings. We know Minister Sorsley quite well, having worked with him for these long years. But we know comparatively little of you, Lord Saranoa. Therefore, we must first determine whether you are worthy of our trust. Surely you have not forgotten his position among the saintly seven of the holy state of Hyzant? I would never forget, but... Then why do you lay these accusations at Sorsley's feet? As one of the saintly seven, he speaks with the voice of the goddess herself. Your actions undermine the goddess's ordained order. I have nothing further to ask. Next, Minister Kamsel Farrant will make his inquiries. You must understand the difficult position you have put us in sauntering into our home to denounce one of our own. We are a welcoming people, and so must be wary of those who seek to take advantage of our open hearts. If a stranger came to you with unfounded accusations against one of your people, I doubt you would take him at his word. Have you any proof of the foul deeds you claim have taken place in our land? I have a witness who has seen the salt being transported. One of the guards at the source. Oh, one of our citizens. Any entrusted to protect the source must swear an oath of honesty to the goddess before assuming duty. Well then, it seems we ought to consider the matter a little further. I have nothing more to ask. Minister Tenebris, if you would. It isn't strange that lay people would fail to grasp the goddess's infinite wisdom. We seven, however, do understand her will. For most, our teachings are the only way they know how to live according to her plan. It is moot to judge Sorsley, one of the seven, based on evidence brought against him by a lay person, no matter what that evidence may be. Unless you have testimony from one who understands the goddess's will, there is simply nothing we can do. Sorcelay met in secret with powerful Glenbrook officials and bribed them. Minister Lila's secretary can attest to this. Oh? A secretary to one of the saintly seven, you say? My secretary's word is as good as my own. None is more devoted to the goddess than he. If any can grasp her will, he can. I see. Well, I cannot argue against that. I've no further questions.
Minister Lila Viscraft, ask your questions. It is plain to me that Sorsley has indeed engaged in misconduct, namely bribery. Yet while I do not doubt he bribed an official of Glenbrook, what the bribe was for remains unclear. Perhaps you can shine some light on the matter, Lord Serenoa? I believe he wished to ensure that word of the Unlawful Salt's destination would not travel. Meaning that a powerful official in the Kingdom of Glenbrook was also complicit in this illicit trade. Hmm... It would be possible to sell Unlawful Salt through all of Norzelia if one could ship it through Glenbrook. A secret worth its weight in gold indeed. I have no more questions. I, Edor Delmira, will ask one final round of questions. I cannot deny, Lord Serenoa, that Sorsley can be foolish. But he is also dedicated to the Goddess, and he has worked much good as one of the Seven. Though he is not faultless by any means, I believe the Goddess yet favors him. If we are to pass judgment on such a man, we must prove his guilt to the goddess herself. So let me ask you this, Serenoa Wolfort. Where exactly are we to find such evidence against Sorsley End? He kept details of his crimes in a secret ledger. It must be somewhere in Hyzant. A secret ledger? Even supposing that is true, we cannot search our entire country for it. Unless the goddess has seen his crimes for herself, we cannot judge him guilty. My questions are done. Now we will confer with one another. The Holy One will pass judgment after hearing our opinions. Saranora Wolfort, the Holy One has passed judgment. House Wolfort is found to have spoken true. Therefore, we find House Wolfort innocent and declare Sorsley End a traitor. <laughs> what? Calm yourself. It seems the Goddess has mercy yet to give you. Praise her, and praise her wisdom. What mercy has she for me? You will stand in combat against House Wolfort. Whomsoever emerges the victor will be cleansed of their sins. Combat? But your sins are indeed heavy, Sorsley. Therefore, we give this to House Wolfort. You seek my demise, do you? I, whose oversight of the source brought prosperity to this land? Do not twist the truth to obfuscate your crimes. It seems you've forgotten the goddess's will. Allow me to remind you. Come then, let us settle this in honest combat. Time to work. You won't catch me. How shall I destroy you? Charge!
Away with you! Here I come. Not another step! From where shall we strike? Now I end this. I'm a fool. Shall we begin? I'm behind you. You have my gratitude. Allow me. Enjoy your freedom while it lasts. The moment I win, you will be cast into the source and left there to rot. The Roselle have suffered too long under your cruelty. Mark me, Sorcelay End. You will pay for what you have done. I will make you regret every injury you inflict upon me. How shall I destroy you? That's the stuff. For victory! Away with you! Here I come. I'll cut you down. The situation is grim. Now oh. that hit the mark. I shall do what I can. Go quick. Ready for more. I cannot lose. For myself. It's only a flesh wound. You won't catch me. 
for victory. This one. This battle is ours. This ends now. Shall we begin? I'm behind you. I owe ya. I will end this. For myself. You won't beat me! How shall I destroy <laughs> you? This'll hurt. <laughs> Suffer. Oh, I'll take this one. For victory. You don't stand a chance! Die already! For my kingdom! Oh, I'll take you this one! The hunt is on! I'm sorry. Goodbye! I will end this. You won't beat me! It will take more than this farce of a... You will pay. This is most unpleasant. Your orders? Ah! 
We can win this. This hurt. It worked. My turn. It ends here. The hunt is on. Allow me. Blame, <clears throat> heed my call. <laughs> I've been waiting for this. Victory goes to House Walfort. Give thanks to the goddess for bestowing upon you her grace. This concludes your trial. Well fought, all of you. To think the truth had to be proved through a test of strength. It was the Hierophant's decree. None in Hyzant raise objections. Ain't nothing to be ashamed of, my lord. After all, losing the battle would have meant losing our heads. <sighs> I suppose you are right. That same day, word spread throughout Hyzant of Sorslay End's demise, and that of House End along with him. Looking worse for wear, Anna. Long scouting missions sure ain't easy. Easy or not, I do what duty demands. Do you need... No. Just reckon Benedict must be relieved you're back safe and sound. Must he? Of Course. After all, he treats you like his own daughter. Don't know any parent what wouldn't worry over their child. And he's got extra cause to fret with all the dangerous work he gives you. Oh? It never crossed my mind. Benedict trusts me. That's all I've ever needed. That's so. Do all parents by blood show concern for their children? Wondering about yours, are you? That's none of your concern. I still remember how you insisted on being a scout soon as you were old enough. You wouldn't say why, but any fool could guess it was to find out more regarding your parents. This works well suited to that sort of thing. Yet Benedict refused me. And he was wise to do so. It ain't a job for an amateur. 
Guess he hadn't anticipated you'd trained under Archibald. I earned his respect when he saw what I could do. The means don't matter. Only... I have grave news, sir. The enemy has captured one of our scouts. I know our soldiers aren't broken easily, but given enough time in the enemy's hands. And here we are, severely shorthanded. I shall call a war council, so our approach may be reconsidered. Hmm. The scout has been rescued and returned safely home. Already? That was far sooner than I anticipated. I hope my actions were not out of line. No, no. Well done, Anna. I don't know where I'd be without you. Nor are you. I can't thank you enough for leaping to my scout's rescue, while Benedict was still pondering what to do. I'd pay good coin just to see that look on his face again. Hmm. So, think you'll find your parents? Not trying to dissuade you from looking, mind. I'm only being nosy. Dissuade? Is there something you've not told me? What would I know that you don't? Just take care you don't end up regretting it. I'm this close. I can feel it. Greetings. Were you training outside? Not today. Even I stay away from the Proving Grounds on occasion. The members of the Kingsguard must keep themselves in prime fighting shape. That includes resting when our bodies are weary. Mmm, a wise policy. The Handmaidens of Esfros adhere to a similar principle. With clear eyes, we see, we serve, we anticipate. Interesting. Although our tools are different, we're alike in our aims. Indeed. We must be the pillars our charges turn to in times of need. Even so, we are only human. If I may ask in confidence, do you ever find it... trying to serve Prince Roland? Is he ever unreasonable? Have you ever found your patience tested? No, never. It is an honor to serve, always. It is an odd question to ask, but I must confess I find it hard to imagine what it is like to serve in a society such as Esfrost's. As do I, although I lived through it. It all feels as if it were so long ago. You're not one for speaking plain, are you? But I suspect we may have much in common. I'm curious to hear your story, if you are willing to share it. Of course. I made a promise to myself long ago to effect change through my own deeds, not to live as a mere servant. And what came of that promise? Hailing from Hyzant, at first I endeavored to learn at the Ministry that I might use the knowledge gained there to help others. But they guard their secrets fiercely and maintain strict control over what fields their students can pursue. As much as it pained me to leave my home, I could not suffer such stifling rules, and so set forth to Esrost. I took quickly to learning at the Archives, where independent study is encouraged. 
I spent days in the stacks, soaking up as much knowledge as I could. When one day... You are the one called Gila, yes? Yes, my lord. They tell me you're the most talented researcher the Archives have ever seen. I couldn't say that, my lord. Though I do spend more time here than most anyone else. Admirable modesty. And you aren't frightened of me. Most impressive. I believe we have a suitable role for you. Come with me. The Archduke would have a word. The Archduke? But... No harm will come to you, if that is your fear. Now, follow me. Lord Zvarog had arranged an audience with the former Archduke of Esfrost, who appointed me as Frederica's personal tutor. She was the former Archduke's daughter, so I took my duty seriously. Yet I could never shake the feeling that I had betrayed my ideals. Perhaps I justified it by telling myself that my teachings could plant the seed for change. An indirect approach, but an active one nonetheless. The chance was unexpected to be sure, but I could not very well deny it. The Archduke's successor, Gustadov, was a man that paid no heed to birth or blood. He affected a change in people's attitudes, a change which provided fertile ground in which my teachings could take root. Thus, I stayed by Frederica's side. Truth be told, I had not thought to be with her for this long. And yet, here I am. Life is truly a journey of unforeseen destinations. I understand Sorsley End is with the Goddess now. What a pity. He has been counted among the dead from the accident. Keep spinning those lies and soon they shall be tied around your neck. Though in truth, I'm surprised they've not done so already. Are you not pleased, milady? Shall I inform Minister Edor? Be my guest. Without me, all research grinds to a halt. My mind is without equal. But of course, Minister. I was only teasing. Would it kill you to smile for once? Be more aware of the words from your mouth. Remember, you are not but Edor's pawn. <laughs> Forgive me. Where are my manners? Now pray, return to your precious research. See that you complete it. For you know who. <laughs> I know full well who it serves. We're all pawns in the end. So, Lord Serenoa, what shall you do now? Well... I shall speak plainly. The Holy One wishes to aid House Wolford. Thank you, Your Holiness. Your house is known throughout all Norzelia, and rightly so, given the vital land you control. It would be quite the blow if Esfrost's aggression spelled the end of your domain. The Hierophant tells me a seat amongst the saintly seven shall be yours should you desire it. 
and I would not hesitate to accept it if it meant securing peace for my people. Then perhaps we can find common ground. The Hierophant, however, has a concern. I would hear it. The Roselle living in your domain. <sighs> they are descendants of the sinners who dwell at the source. That is their proper place. There they offer themselves to the goddess in the hopes they may one day at The Hierophant longs to see them return to their rightful home. You would have me surrender them to you. It is not my place to make demands. I am merely to deliver unto you the word of the Hierophant. Saranoa, will you surrender the Roselle to Hyzant? I don't know. As you are doubtless aware, Lady Frederica, the vow of Lord Simon himself binds us to protect them. Alas, our house is not what it once was. Is that a reason to cast aside its honor? My father as well likely had a hand in orchestrating their protection. Ah, my friends, I apologize that we once again meet under dire circumstances. You face a difficult choice, one I do not envy. Have you Not yet. We will, you can be sure. They've got us by the small ones, and they know it. They made this request full aware of our history. Lest you misunderstand, allow me to illuminate your position. You are not the noble hawks you think yourselves to be. You are vultures, feeding off the scraps of Sorcely's corpse. You've got some nerve! I speak from experience when I say that the title of Saint is not to be worn lightly. Are you prepared? Prepared? For what? Doubtless you are aching to break free of your fetters, to take wing and soar. To do that, blood must be spilled, the blood of enemy friend and self alike. Your freedom lies at the end of a trail of dead. If you are not prepared to make that journey, to endure that sacrifice, then cast aside your pretensions and grovel. <sighs> grovel or bleed? Poor options both. <laughs> <laughs> 